SBF1 from Tenderfoot Electronics is our new state variable filter for Eurorack. It's 8 HP wide but packs quite a few features into its relatively small footprint. Running through the panel, we can see the main frequency knob at the top. Below that, we have the resonance controls. So on the right, we have the hue control, and on the left, we have the resonance drive. Just above and to the right of the frequency knob, there's a push button which affects the politeness of the resonance sound. Currently, we have selected the more polite setting. Moving down the panel, we have three attenuators linked to the audio input, the frequency CV input, and the resonance CV input. Just below those, we have the input jacks. So this is the audio in. We have the one volt per octave CV in, the frequency cutoff input, and the resonance CV input. Then right at the bottom, we have the outputs. So the SVF1 has a low pass, a band pass, a high pass, and a notch output that are all available simultaneously. Just so you get a sense of the sound of the filter, I'll initially adjust the cutoff manually and show you how it sounds with different settings. So this is with no resonance at all. We add a little resonance. And a bit more. And some more. So that's full resonance without the drive on the more polite mode. Now if we add a little drive, Here it gets a little bit grittier. And that's full drive. Now with just a little bit of resonance, I'm going to do a few filter sweeps through all of the outputs. So, going back to the low pass. And let's go to the band pass. And the high pass. And then the notch. The politeness level relates to the part of the circuit that deals with resonance. So with the resonance off, or with very low Q and resonance drive levels, you won't hear any difference between the two modes. So that's more polite. And less polite. Now, the less polite mode allows the resonance to be driven further than before, and it will start to clip. You'll notice it a lot more with lower frequency audio inputs. In the less polite mode, you can get some pretty weird, almost dub siren sounds if you input a square wave at very low frequencies.
The SVF1 can also track one volt per octave. As it's primarily a filter and not a VCO, it may drift a little bit with temperature, but it's actually pretty stable. Now, if we turn the queue up to about three quarters of the way, you'll hear it starts to self-oscillate. And in the more polite mode, what we get is actually a pretty decent sine wave. Now, if we plug a little sequence in from the quad quantizer, you'll hear it tracking. Now, while it's doing that, if we turn the drive up, you'll hear an overall drop in frequency, but it will still be tracking one volt per octave. So now it's no longer a pure sine wave, but we've got a, a bit more of an interesting tone. We can dirty it up even more by going into the less polite mode. Although the SVF1 can produce some pretty harsh sounds, it's also a very clean and solid sounding filter when the settings are dialed back a little. This makes it a very versatile filter and it fits great into any Eurorack system. The SVF1 will be available in late summer 2020 and if you're interested in getting your hands on one or any other Tenderfoot Electronics module, uh, check out our website at www.tenderfootelectronics.com and feel free to send us a message via the online contact form or the email address on there. Thanks for watching.